So first of all, my most watched vi video in recent history, not that I need views, but it's interesting to watch these things, was my Kiyosaki video on silver. It's got over 6,000 views, and it was featured on Sergeant Bull Report. So Sergeant Bull does watch my channel, channel, and he will put up some of my videos, even though these videos might say things that might go against the grain of some silver things. So I do want to say is yes, um, he is putting some of my stuff on his channel, so um, thank you, Sergeant Bull, for doing that. Um, so today's silver treasure, um, or treasure in general, are these, quote, proof mint sets. Now, I showed these on my channel a few years ago, and um, when I bought them, they weren't exactly a deal, but they weren't expensive. They were around the spot price of silver. But of course, I think it was, it was $18 an ounce at the time, so they're a good deal right now. And you can see these things have been tampered with, right? You see this, uh, these things have been opened up and these things have like a, a tarnish and kind of some kind of rust on these things. Not exactly a proof set, but I was buying it for the metal content, right? And the metal content had done well since I bought these things. So I want to talk about like, you know, economic collapses, like there's a lot of personal economic collapses going on. In fact, s someone I was reading online, one of my friends from no no another area, he had a, a, a entry like on Facebook, it was called economic collapse, but he's talking about himself. You know, he went through hard economic times. There's a lot of people having economic collapses, personal economic collapses. There's a lot of institutions having economic collapses. Yet the stock market is Hi. So this is kind of weird stuff. Now, I will offer you some insights about the broader picture. Moore's Law is still in effect. As you probably know, Moore's Law says that every 18 months, the power of computers will double. And that is held true through hard times and good times and hard times. That is a steamrolling forward. And that's a big deal. Because every time they get to a, a wall where it looks like they can't increase the computing power, they figure some kind of very clever engineering, scientific thing to keep it going. So it's amazing how this Moore's Law, and this, this shows you that humanity is technologically, technologically progressing because Moore's Law is still in effect. Now, in the past, I talked about robots in the factories and there's something more. There's just these 3D printers. In fact, Da Vinci brought up 3D printers a few years ago, right? He said he had seen something made from a 3D printer. Now, these 3D printers are getting better and better. 3D printers could be the, the mystery technology. Like, no one, quote, nobody saw the internet coming. These 3D printers can be a similar force that could create a new human revolution. How? Because I'm reading how people can create parts out of these things, right? You need a part. You make it in a 3D printer, which means people can make their own stuff with these 3D printers. You know, you go online and you get the instructions, you, you, you put the files in your computer and you can assemble your own stuff. That's revolutionary. So um, from what we've seen, you know, there's less and less factory jobs. There are factories leaving China and coming back to the U.S. because they're, they're staffed by robots. Well, here's an opportunity in the future. Maybe there will be a lot of entrepreneurs and people who are, who are clever and intelligent who will t take, make a business out of 3D printers. Revolutionary stuff. So, um, that, so that's what I'm talking about here. Magic, quote, magic factories, right? In addition to Moore's Law getting better, the computer systems are getting better. The software is getting better. Like Google's getting stronger. Um, for, for example, chess software. I remember when, when IBM sp spent millions and millions of dollars on this big computer to beat the previous world champion. Now, on my PC, I've got a simple free download that is stronger than Deep Blue and that is stronger than the world champion. I've got a free download for my computer. That is amazing productivity and progress for the human race. Now, unfortunately, right now, there are millions even billions of people who are not a part of this, of what's happening there in that. In fact, with these personal 
economic collapses, there's a lot of bankruptcies. We have this huge credit, bad credit, credit people who can't, who are, who are in, in, in debt won't be able to pay it back. That's a huge problem for, for, for um, this whole credit crisis, which isn't resolved. They're, they're just ignoring it. They're shuffling it down the road, but it's still there. But even in the Great Depression, with things so bad as they were, technology did advance. So in a corporation, I see a lot of these white collar jobs becoming obsolete. You know, 500 years ago, there were no factory jobs. There were really no white collar jobs. And in fact, in the future, those jobs will go away. It was a bubble of white collar and factory jobs in the human experience, right? Those jobs will go away. They'll be maybe a, a, a big corporation will have these magic factories. The only real cost are like raw materials and shipping. And you got a few employees, but you got you got robots in the factories. You've got artificial intelligence, very powerful computers doing all the number crunching. You got a few people running it. You know um, that's how we could be headed. So that means what does that mean? I call I'll call it the dollar store syndrome, right? When you go to a dollar store, how many people take shopping carts and load up the cart? Because I mean, stuff is a buck. If you if you had a time machine. And you put that dollar store back 200 years, that stuff would be so valuable in the dollar store, right? They'd never see anything like it. But now it's free. I mean, who would steal from the dollar store? What rational person would steal a dollar thing? I mean, what's the risk and reward? It's ridiculous. You just, who, who cares? You go to the dollar store, you don't need to steal, right? It's so cheap. Well, what happens when we have, a, like, everything starts becoming dollar store stuff? I mean, look how cheap stuff is becoming. Well, certain stuff, right? What does that mean? It means that, where, where are the costs, the, 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 the commodities, raw materials, and the shipping, right? Does that mean that, that to invest, investing in commodities? Or maybe the robots will be able to mine the stuff cheaper? But then the huge thing is the energy. I think until we see the real energy revolution, if it comes, I think eventually it will, then that's when stuff will, will see another change. But I just wanted to say is maybe that's what's happening. You have the smart money is, is seeing this stuff and they're making bets and that's why we're seeing some things that don't make sense in the stock market. I can answer that question. Or maybe it's just being propped up. Maybe they're just, the, the, the Fed's balance sheet and the, the, the market knows that they're not going to let the too big to, that, that fails fail. If the, if the market knows that they're going to keep bailing someone out who fails, I mean, then this is sure, they might think it's a sure bet, right? I mean, if, if you have someone, they keep, you keep feeding them money to be profitable and you invest in them, and I guess you do well as an investor. Um, I'm I, I'm I'm not sure. So yeah, um, m maybe the revolution is is here, but no one knows about it. Maybe these 3D printers, the robots, the Moore's law, the the computer systems. Maybe is this revolution. They said there's a, there's some song from like the hippie era, hippie era. The revolution won't be televised. Maybe the real technology re revolution is not really being televised anywhere. Not in the TV. Not in YouTube. Just food for thought. So thanks for watching.